Hello, today we're going to uh, get the difference between Marxism and Leninism. With that, I'll turn the subject to my grandson, Tristan. Go ahead, Tristan. All right, thank you. So I wanna start off this video by saying that this idea was recommended by a viewer of the channel. So I don't remember your name, but I remember you recommending it and I'll link it to you later, maybe, if I remember. But anyway, uh, if you're watching this, thank you for recommending the idea. It's a pretty good one, so thanks. Anyway, like my grandfather just said, today we're going to be talking about the difference between Marxism and Leninism. Now, if you haven't seen our last video, we established what uh, Marxism means as kind of like a general philosophy, as a general concept. So we did kind of like a summary of what Marxism is. So if you haven't seen that, then um, go make sure to check that out because we're not going to restate it. We're not going to restate what Marxism is. But um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about Marxism and how it differs from Leninism. Now, Marxism and Leninism are not opposed to each other. They're complementary philosophies. So Leninism doesn't reject any aspects of Marxism, and Marxism it doesn't reject any aspects of Leninism. The only differences between the two is that Leninism builds on Marxism. So it takes Marxism kind of as its base, and then kind of builds more concepts, builds more ideas on top of the base structure of Marxism, right? So Leninism is a Marxist political philosophy. And the ideas that Leninism had introduced were ideas such as like the Vanguard Party, which, you know, you would need a set group of like, you know, uh, educated individuals that would uh, kind of enlighten the masses and lead the masses towards revolution. And then this Vanguard Party would take control of the states and be established as the new dictatorship of the proletariat. And this new um, dictatorship of the proletariat, that is the Vanguard Party, um, would democratically decide the party line through democratic centralism, which is basically just party members vote on whichever um, path is best for the party to go in. Now, Lenin also introduced the idea of imperialism being the highest stage of capitalism. He introduced the idea of Marxism not as a dogmatic philosophy, rather as a scientific philosophy that's always kind of evolving in his critique against the uh, left communists. Uh, and these are just some of the uh, kind of contributions or add-ons that Lenin made to Marxism to uh, make a theory of how Marxism and socialist society and communist society could be achieved in feudal uh, czarist Russia. So that would pretty much wrap up the subject and wrap up the video as a whole. Thank you for watching. Thank you.